I can now finally take you into the heart of Melbourne culture filled with boutiques and shops and cafes on every corner. There's something magical about being on Chapel Street. So Matt, 661 Chapel Street, now is this the new Prince of Melbourne? Look, it's a great location. It's the best location in South Yarra. Yep. Um, we're right up against Melbourne High, so we can never be built out. We've yep. got views on every apartment from level seven facing west. So there are the views right behind us. Amazing. Unbelievable views. And um, some of us have been up onto the construction site recently and uh, just up to level seven and the views are unbelievable. I know you just mentioned it. So Melbourne High is right there and it's actually true that for how many years? There's no obstruction of the view? Uh, well, Melbourne High is five levels yeah. and um, it's obviously a heritage building mm -hmm. and uh, we're right up against it. And now car parking goes to five levels and mm -hmm. the apartments start from level seven, so it will never be built out. You walk in, I've seen the development through the model. This is luxury living at its best. Look, we're getting a lot of local inquiry. We're mm -hmm. getting a lot of people combining apartments and creating large living spaces all yep. the way up to about 270 square metres internally. That's huge. And um, we've uh, had absolutely huge demand. We started with 168 apartments and we're down to about 125 in the building from people combining apartments and creating those living spaces. You were saying before, and I think this is pretty cool, you've had some really high profile people that have built into the apartment already. Why is it that they're drawn to 661? Well, South Yarra is obviously a premium suburb in Melbourne, yep. and uh, there are a lot of buildings in the Forest Hill precinct that will get built out on all corners or some corners. Yeah, it's inevitable, um, isn't it? Never going to be built out 661, and um, South Yarra is all about the view, and it's got the best view in Melbourne. So that grand entrance, as soon as you walk in, that kind of sets the tone for the apartment, doesn't it? We've got a 12 metre entry, mm -hmm. four levels high, and a 25 metre lap pool with a glass uh, bottom on it, counter leave it over the front, um, port of cachet, yep. and it's a really private entrance up a long driveway off Chapel Street. It's not just that, there's that gorgeous library. You guys have got next level with this development. Well, we really have. Um, we're very lucky. Um, Gamut is one of uh, the largest uh, infrastructure companies to come out of Malaysia and they've really committed to putting a footprint into Australia and particularly into Melbourne. So they've gone quality all the way with this development and the library on the ground floor uh, is just an example of that. Beautiful stained glass windows and uh, high ceilings and timber cabinetry. We are a leading uh, infrastructure construction engineering company in Malaysia. Uh, naturally, because of that, uh, it's only natural that we venture into property development. Our ethos is uh, basically a well-planned township, sustainable and uh, well-located at growth corridors. Chapel Street is the, one of the best streets in uh, Melbourne. Yeah? So that falls into within our ethos. Naturally, the other uh, thing about it is that it has a sustainable uh, architecture design, yeah, which is, if to us, is uh, very important. It's sustainable over a long period of time and it will create value for the buyers. Tell us about the architects involved. Vanessa Bird mm -hmm. is the architect who's a director of Bird Delicate and you can see how amazing the design of the exterior of this building is as well, the Gorgeous. angles that they've brought through, the thought that's gone into it and Vanessa is the uh, president of uh, the Architecture Association in Victoria yep. and um, absolutely been fantastic in dealing with all the purchases in this building to create spaces that suit them. Vanessa, how about that view? I know, it would be great waking up to that every morning, wouldn't it? I think so, I definitely wouldn't turn that away. No. Gloria's probably one of the best views in Melbourne, I'd say. We've got a lot of people on site here today. Yeah, we have this, I think Crema probably has more than 100 people on site at wow. the moment. Yep. And in our office, you know, we've got hundreds of drawings. Every piece of concrete and steel that you see, you know, gets drawn and checked and coordinated and that's all really important to get set up all the bones of the building yep. so we can get the right finish for Gamuda. The process has been really good working with Gamuda. They're really interested in a high level of detail yep. and we've had a really good um, back and forth conversation with them. There's been a lot of work that's gone into the communal spaces of this building which is yep. one of the really important Exciting things. parts. Stage. It's really about the architects, the engineers, all the other consultants working really closely 
with the builder. Yeah. And we're all pushing in the same direction and that's about getting the end goal for Gamuda. No, it's amazing. I can't wait to see it finish to be honest. Well done. Good job. <laughs> We've got uh, all the way up to four bedrooms. Yep. Um, one bedroom starting at 546,000, two bedrooms starting at 796,000, and three bedrooms starting at 1.6 million, yep. all the way through to the penthouse, which is 6.7 million. Just to humour me, just walk through what is involved in that penthouse, because that is stunning. Well, it's three bedrooms, yep. full floor, obviously on the 30th level, yep. four car parks, beautiful private rooftop terrace on top. We've had a lot of inquiry, but we've held back and uh, we're expecting to close out with a purchaser very soon.